In this presentation, we will record a sale on account, otherwise known as a sale on credit, otherwise known as invoicing a client. The sale on account meaning that we're not receiving cash at the point in time of sale, but increasing accounts receivable within QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in the home page. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view tab, drop down and go into the open windows list. So we're going to enter an invoice now and note there's a couple different ways that someone can term an invoice or how we might hear it. If you see a book problem or in practice where someone says that uh, there's going to be a sale on account or on credit, that basically means we made a sale. In this case, we're selling guitars and uh, we didn't get paid yet we're going to get paid in the future so it's on account or on credit and that's another way that you might see or hear a term basically referring to the form that drives that an, an invoice so we're going to go through the invoice here and this is going to be for music store stuff so we're going to select the music the drop down <laughs> and music store stuff is here i'm going to type it in as well it should populate for us music store stuff and tab through this that's the one we want the date's going to be the 19th i'm on the 18th right now so i'm just going to select the plus one time that should take us up to where we want to be going to tab through we're on the sixth uh, invoice so i'm going to keep that tabbing through i'm going to keep the terms the same it's going to be an epiphone standard pro which for some well if we select the drop down and we we see this it's going to be an epiphone standard pro that's the one we want and I'm going to label that and just type in the E-N-L. That's the one we're looking for, that really long item name. And we're going to say we got one of those. It's an Epiphone Standard Pro. It's populated automatically. Where is it getting that information? From lists, item lists, when we set up the item inventory items there. And that's where it's pulling this information from, knowing that the description is Epiphone Standard Pro, knowing that the rate is 600 and that uh, the amount is 600 and that it's taxable uh, meaning sales tax we're going to charge sales tax on it sales tax of five percent in our case that will change from region to region area to area 600 times five percent is that thirty dollars thirty dollars plus the 600 means we expect to get paid 630 dollars for this particular guitar this epiphone standard pro now if we think about the transaction for this journal entry it's it, this is basically a journal entry happens every time we make a, a transaction the invoice means accounts receivable is going to go up it's going to go up by the amount owed 630 we haven't yet gotten paid the other side is going to go to sales increasing the income statement or revenue for 600 not the 630 the difference of 30 sales tax is a liability because we don't get to keep it we have to pay it to the state whoever we pay sales tax to and then the other side is there's still going to be the decrease in inventory because we sold the Epiphone Standard Pro, a guitar. And the other side of that, the expense related to the inventory that we consumed in order to help generate revenue, cost of goods sold. The amount, however, not on the invoice. How would we know what it is? It's going to be on lists, item lists, Epiphone Standard Pro. Epiphone is this one, double clicking that. It should be that uh, cost of 480. So that's the cost we expect to to report once we record this item. Why closing this back out? Closing this back out. Why isn't the 480 here? Because we're giving this invoice to the customer and we don't want them to see the 480 cost on it. But this will drive that 480 and help us to record it in the QuickBooks system. Okay, so let's record this. We're going to say save and close. We're going to go to reports up top. We're going to go to company and financial scroll on down to the balance sheet standard change the dates in the customized reports dates being 010119 to 123119 we're going to say okay there is our new dates within the accounts receivable it should be increasing so we're going to double click on that there's the uh, music store stuff that we stole 630 double clicking on it the full amount there so we're going to close this back out close this back out other side is going to go to the income statement or profit and loss so we'll go to reports up top to open that up 
company and financial. Profit and loss is our first item in the company and financial. Changing the dates from 010119 to 123119, January to December 2019. We're in the merchandise sales. I'm going to double click on that item. And we see once again increase music store stuff, however, only for 600. Double clicking on that. 600, the sales price not including the tax of the $30. Where's the $30? It's in a payable. We don't get to keep it. We're going to pay it to the state. So closing this back out, closing this back out, back to the balance sheet. Scrolling down to the uh, payables, sales tax payable, here it is. Here, we're going to double click on that item. There's the $30 that we owe to uh, the state in New York in this case. It's a made up problem, so that's kind of, so in any case, but there's the 30. We're going to close this back out. We're not quite done yet. It also recorded a decrease in inventory. So here's inventory, double clicking on inventory. We see that we have the uh, music store stuff. It's gonna be 480. Where did that number come from? If I double click on it, it's not on this form at all. Where did that number come from? It's on lists, item list for this Epiphone that we sold, Standard Pro. There's the 480. So we sold it for 600, it's 480. Closing this. Closing this, why isn't the 480 on this invoice? Because we're giving this to the customer and we don't want it on the invoice. Closing this back out, closing this. The other side of that 480 is on the profit and loss. So we go back to the profit and loss. It's gonna be in cost of goods sold, double clicking the cost of goods sold. There's the other side of that 480. So closing this back out. So there's a lot going on with those invoices, even though they're pretty simple to fill out. We're going to go back to the balance sheet and uh, the next thing we can take a look at is the inventory backing up or summary report this is the 2032 if we go up to uh, reports if we go to inventory and inventory valuation summary and as of 12 31 1 9 the cost 2032 we can also check going back to the balance sheet looking at the accounts receivable 2120 is what was affected reports and we're going to go to uh, customers and receivables customer balance detail and scrolling down 2120 so everything looks like it's it's good uh, the music store stuff is of course the the customer that was affected there now we're going to do this again with another invoice so we're going to go to the home tab uh, the home in the home screen home <laughs> we're going to create an invoice again invoice this one being for smith guitars if i select the drop down uh we see smith guitars here i'm going to type it in it'll auto populate smith guitars tabbing through this it's going to be as of the 20th so i'm going to add i'm going to put the plus one 20th auto populating invoice the item is going to be an epiphone semi hollow wood so if i click this drop down we're looking for an Epiphone semi hollow wood. Epiphone semi hollow wood. Here it is. And for some reason, it's an it's a wild cat. Yeah, I don't know exactly, but I'm gonna put wild cat, and it's an Epiphone semi hollow wood, and it's gonna be a one for the quantity, rate 400, and we will have sales tax on it. So we're gonna charge 400 sales tax, 20, which is 5%, 400 times 5%. $20, meaning we expect to receive $420. What will be the, the journal entry here? Invoice means accounts receivable is going to go up. It's going to be supported by the subsidiary account for the Smith Guitars. The other side is going to be revenue, merchandise revenue. However, the revenue is only going to be for $400 rather than the receivable being $420. The difference being the 5% sales tax to $20 going to the payable. We're also going to have a decrease in inventory and an increase in cost of goods sold for an amount not on this form where would we find it in lists we go to the chart of counts and we're looking for that epiphone uh, semi hollow wood epiphone semi oh not on the chart of account close this out it's in lists item list and then we're looking for that epiphone uh, semi hollow wood which is down here i'm just going to click this one and there's the 320. So we'll close this out, close this out, 
We're going to record this, save and close, and then just take a look at this information, balance sheet. We're going to go back up and we're going to say accounts receivable, double clicking on that. It's went up by the 420 for Smith Guitars, double clicking that. There's the invoice, 420. Closing this back out, closing this back out. The other side's on the profit and loss. Here's the profit and loss. If we go to the merchandise sales, double clicking on that, it went up for Smith Guitars, but by only 400. Double clicking on that, that the sales price, not including the $20 sales tax. Closing this back out, closing this back out. Sales tax is going to be on the balance sheet because we owe it and therefore it's a liability. It's going to be in the sales tax payable. Double clicking on that item. There's the $20. Closing this back out. Other side of it is inventory going down. So here is the inventory account, an asset account. Double clicking on that. It's going down for Smith Guitars, but only by 320. Double clicking on that. 320 is not on this form because it's driven by lists, item list. We won't go back in there. <laughs> closing this back out, closing this back out. The other side's in the profit and loss. It's in uh, the cost of goods sold. Double clicking that. It's going to be in this 320. There's the other side. Closing this and going back to the balance sheet. Open windows. We can see that the uh, the inventory, 1,710. If we go to the inventory valuation summary now, it should update to be 1,712. Sorry, 1,712 should match the balance sheet, 1,712. The accounts receivable, 2,540, should now match the customer balance detail, which will be 2,540. And we sold this to Smith Guitars. So uh, Smith Guitars is here for the 420. There's that particular invoice. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.